So how about them fidget spinners? While the origin of the fidget spinner might be in doubt, there is no denying that they have become incredibly popular, appearing in many stands across malls and even stores that don't normally carry them or carry anything like them like cell phone stores have started selling them. A fidget spinner is pretty straightforward. It is a set of three weights attached by a piece of plastic to a metal bearing with a grip. And what you do is you flick it and it spins. Can you battle with them? No. Can they do tricks? No. Do they have a mobile game? No. Do they have a cartoon? Boy, I sure hope not. Do they do anything else? No. Do you know why they're so popular? I don't know. Well, actually that's not true. I think I have a vague idea. First of all, it tackles one of my toy idioms in that I think that a lot of the most popular and successful toys are ones that you can buy with your allowance and will fit in your pocket. Fidget spinners costing about $10 and being a nice streamlined can definitely fit into that. Now, that's only really part of the explanation. Some people try to say it's the fact that they're like getting banned in classrooms or something are reasons that they're popular, but I really don't think that's the reason because they were popular before they started getting banned in classrooms. So what I think it is, is it is a, uh, it's a very simple toy that has kind of, um, uh, of course, you have the spinning gimmick. You have the sensation of resisting a gyro. In fact, gyro toys have always been kind of a thing around. You have the sensation of resisting the gyro effect, which is always kind of soothing. They try to say it's a focus spinner, but come on, it's not really. I mean, you got like the spectacular, uh, you got the gleam of the, uh, of the exposed metal weights uh, reflecting off of the light. It's a fairly large spectacle for a fairly small amount of skill and effort. Can you pinch something? Then you can play with a fidget spinner. I think it's that accessibility and um i don't know if they're gonna stick around forever they're probably gonna be like pogs which actually got its own cartoon show if you can believe it it honestly reminds me a little bit more of 2013 when i went to toy fair and everybody was talking about these big fancy expensive toys and everybody was buying rainbow loom this is kind of Rainbow Loom all over again, and all these fancy toys minus the Nintendo Switch are gonna find their butts kicked by $10 fidget spinners. I mean, I actually went to Toys R Us and I went and asked, you know, of all these toys that you have in there, are there any in particular that the kids are asking for? And it's all fidget spinners. So I imagine it'll pass. I imagine it will, uh, I imagine it'll be a trend kind of like Pogs or Rainbow Looms and it won't stick around forever. And, uh, so I guess that's what's the deal with fidget spinners. I, uh, don't plan on doing any more videos about fidget spinners unless it gets a cartoon show. Which could happen. Until next time, this is Kodak signing off. Like the sun commands its planets, he whom the slammer revolves around is master of its power. Huh?